Well, Wheels of Winter was one of the first songs we got together for Ellipsis and um, the music actually started from like a drum rhythm I did in my side, just a boom 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 da 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 and it's the first time a song started from these behemoths. <laughs> um, and yeah, the, the rhythm just felt right, and I know that sounds really silly because obviously there was no song there, but it just felt like it was uh, only something that our band could do. So the, the song, we kind of tweaked with the song for a few months in the practice room. Yeah. And as with a lot of Biffy tunes, even the more straightforward ones, they, they go through a lot of different versions because inevitably they start up very, very progressive and very kind of six minutes long. <laughs> And we kind of like try and kind of tighten the nuts on them. So, I don't know, in the room it felt right for a few months, so we played it without vocals for a bit. And then, I guess last year, I just kind of felt like some external pressures and internal pressures on the record. And, and this song, when I wrote the lyrics for this song, it was, I felt like it was a kind of fighting song. It was kind of like just trying to kind of talk about how really the only people that know this band inside and out are the three of us. And, and we've been in this band from when we were 15 years old and, and I don't like it when people try and preempt what we should do or talk about what we should have done. You know, it's like, I don't really give a shit what anyone else kind of says or thinks because we have to live with ourselves with the music mm -hmm. we make. And, and um, so that's what the song is. The song is about kind of staking our claim to this is our band that everyone hands off. And, and the, fun, the, the song is kind of a com conversation. Like people would think I'm being like trying to be PMA on this. There, there's no I in team, but there's two in brilliant. I can't believe some people could be stupid enough to think that I'm this motivational speaker. <laughs> it's like that's what the guy I'm fucking arguing with is saying to me. So yeah, anyone that's misunderstood that, you're thick as shit. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess the musically the song felt, you know, felt kind of similar to our heavy rock roots, you know, like if we'd pl recorded it a certain way, it could probably have kind of squeezed in on one, on maybe opposites or something. And it's probably the only song on this record that could have done that. And we really wanted to, with Rich Costi, kind of use just a lot more, like, I love trap beats. I love the, the, the tricks you can do with drums and percussion these days, you know, like you can really go to town. And, and we tried to make the song heavy without it being like overly distorted and I think that's something that Rich has always been fantastic at. We were just listening to Caven's record that Rich did actually just there and it, it's a perfect example of that. It's really heavy but not fuzzy or distorted and and I think Rich really brought, kind of opened that world to us a lot more and it was nice to kind of explore and even the intro of the song, you know, it was, it was weird to work on that as a kind of sonic texture to introduce the song rather than a band playing the intro. So. It was, uh, yeah, we could take ourselves out of comfort zone. We knew it was a rock song, but I guess we kind of absorbed a lot of the kind of hip hop influences and production tricks that we've been kind of turning us on the last few years. Yeah.